hey welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here my name is jessica lauren and this is the sunday jumpstart where we help go getters like you dish the excuses do the work and make ish happen and today i am giving you a tour of the big goals action planner 12 week planner now listen this ain't your everyday to-do list mark stuff down what you gonna eat what you gonna drink where you gonna do the laundry ain't nothing wrong with those planners but baby if you have big goals big dreams and you need some help to get them done not just dream about them and pray about them and hope about them you want to accomplish them in the next 12 weeks this planner is for you so before we start the walkthrough i just wanted to talk to you about why i designed this for only 12 weeks and not the whole year well, there's this book called The 12 Week Year. It is by Brian Moran. Um, and basically the whole premise is that we stop annualized thinking. And you know, at the top of the year, when it's January 1st and you're popping your champagne and you're sitting down with your planner, you're making these huge goals, nothing wrong with it. But you're typically like, I want to lose 20 pounds this year. I want to start my business this year. I want to be fluent in Spanish this year. Guess what happens? Nine times out of 10, it typically takes you a year to do those things. There's this famous quote that says, work will feel whatever time you give it. I'm butchering that a little bit, but that's pretty much what it says, okay? And all that means is that if you give it a year, it'll take a year because there's no urgency. There's no fire under your butt but to get the work done, right? So that's why a lot of us don't accomplish our goals is because we're giving ourselves too much time. Well, in the book 12 Week Year, they squash all of that. They're like, you got 12 weeks to knock three major goals out of the park. Once those 12 weeks are up, you take a week off to reflect and collect your thoughts and figure out what you want to focus on for the next 12 weeks. So every 12 weeks, you get a new year. That's why I love that train of thought because you don't have to wait till January to make some major moves in your life. Every day is a new opportunity to take back control of your life, get back aligned with the things you want to do, and stop doing busy work, stop procrastinating, and do those things. So that's why I designed the Big Goals Action Planner 12 Week Planner through my stationery company, Sunday Jumpstart Paper Co. And I'm just gonna walk you through how to use that bad baby. So grab your pen, take some notes, and go on sundayjumpstartpaper.com and order this bad baby so that you can start making some major moves in your life. Let's go over to my desk so I can show you. Okay, so this is our new cover. This is the color block version. We have a few little updates from the fall launch that I'm super duper proud of. It's giving, giving summer vibes. So that's the first things first when you open it, right? Okay, so we got our logo page. This planner belongs to 2024-2025 um, calendar. This is an undated planner, but we still want you to have some guidance for what's going on in the year. So you got your holidays, birthdays, and then right here, there's instructions on how to use this planner. That's what was missing from the first one. So right here, we'll spell out everything we're talking about in today's video. So you'll never be lost. And then here is what I call the 24 questions. These are just journal prompts to help you figure out what the heck you do want to focus on. So it's things like what brings you joy, what makes you feel the most energized, what opportunities are you grateful for right now, what habits or patterns do you want to break for you to maybe to go to the note section in the back and just pin out some of your thoughts about those questions. There is also some space right when you open it up to go ahead and jot some of the answers down. We have our first, first quote is by Eric Badu. Write it down on real paper with a real pencil and watch it get real. All right, so after that, there's some more space, a dotted grid. It's kind of hard to see it's an overcast day, but that's all right, we're gonna keep it pushing. My top three goals, you're only gonna focus on three goals. Like we always wanna sit down and write out a million things, but the book tells you to focus on three things so that you can actually focus and have clarity know what you have to do every day and not him and haw so for this let's say we want to start a business launch our youtube channel and learn duolingo in a couple weeks and i'll go ahead and write this out but i just want to do like a basic walkthrough 
So I already started kind of working on some things, right? So I put finally launched my YouTube channel. Here we have our action plan. How are you gonna make all of it happen? So there's enough space in here for you to map out how you're going to do that. So you write your first goal, finally launch my YouTube channel. Um, why is this important for you to accomplish? You can always go back to this for those days. You're like, why the heck am I even do doing all of this? It's always right here. So it's always something you've wanted to do to build an audience, a community, share your experience of starting a biz. Then you can write down some major tasks, some deadlines, and whether or not you completed those things. So here you write, create a content calendar, secure social media handles, brainstorm ideas, so on and so forth. Then on this page, you have your accountability page. This is what you plan to do on the days when you have low energy, middle energy, and high energy days. So maybe you could post on IG stories when you have low low energy. Maybe you could shoot YouTube shorts, super easy on mid energy days. And on high energy days, the goal is to record two videos to stay ahead of the game. Right here, we have our accountability partners when you're gonna check in and topics to discuss. So it says affirm, I don't have to do this alone. It is safe for me to receive help and support as I work towards my dreams and then in this section you're going to jot down how you're going to celebrate your win and it's just a nice dinner in the city and it proceeds to do that for all three of your major goals so again an action plan and accountability plan so that you're holding yourself accountable throughout the whole kit and caboodle goal number three action and accountability plan then we come to the month it's undated so you can go ahead and jot down the dates however you like here we have some important dates things you're looking forward to and just some major to do's for the month after that, you can just do a brain dump. And I like to use the brain dump as like my working master list because there's always gonna be some things that pop up that you can't get to that's not necessarily focused for this project, but you still wanna write it down so that you can go to it later or you know give it another deadline or delegate it to someone else. If you're a drawer or you like to print out your pictures, here's space for a weekly vision board. Then after that, you're gonna focus, you're gonna write down your weekly focus. What's your intention for the week? Your goals for the week? Any action items? Here we have a habit tracker where you can write down, drink 96 ounces of water if you have a fitness goal or show up every day on Instagram, post the TikTok, and then more room for some notes. Down here is our weekly agenda. So you could just figure out what appointments you have um, for the morning, afternoon, and evening time. And then here are our daily sheets. They are also undated. Um, what I like about this is you can write down your top priorities for the day, any supportive tasks, any notes you wanna have. And then at the bottom, we have these end of the day reflections because the whole point is to really sit back and figure out like, am I on the right track? You know, so you could keep up with your progress. So what worked to, well today? What challenges did you face? What are you thankful for? What does self-care look like today? How did you show up, et cetera, et cetera. So you just do that for a week. Here we have a weekly review. What worked well, what needs improvement, what needs to stop, what needs to start. Again, another brain dump and another vision board. So that's what the first four weeks look like. I've been doing random <laughs> Instagram videos for this just to give some examples. So that's what those are. So you go through the first four weeks, always reviewing, always checking in with yourself, right? Um, and then after you've done your first four weeks of the planner, you're gonna give yourself a progress report like we were back in grade school. Goal number one, what are your top three accomplishments so far? What challenges did you face and how did you overcome them? What are your next steps? A new addition that I added is just this progress tracker where you can take like a little highlighter or a pen and just scribble where you're at. Are you at 20%? Bam. And it's cool because when you look back in four months, you can see like, dang, I really made some progress. So you do that for all three goals. Any aha moments you have, how do you feel about seeing your progress report so far? Sometimes this could be like really hard to look at, but you always want to answer this page and talk about how you feel about things so that you can calibrate. Do I need to focus harder? Do I need to let up the rain? So on and so forth. Then we have another quote. And then the whole thing kind of repeats itself over and over again for the course of the next three months. It's 90 days. This is the final quote. I am done playing small. I own my greatness. And it keeps going and going and going. Then at the end, 
you'll have a 12 week assessment where you can really sit down and figure out what the heck did I accomplish? What were your proudest moments over the course of the 12 weeks? Who were your biggest check chillers? How can you thank them? What was the biggest lesson you learned? What habits, tool or routines helped you achieve your goals? Um, you've done a lot these 12 weeks. How will you rest and recharge? What do you want to focus on for the next 12 weeks? And then right here, you could put your focus for the next quarter. And then in the back, we have a couple of notes pages. So that is the updated version of the Big Goal Action Planner. Okay, y'all, so that's the long and short of how to use the Big Goal Action Planner, how to plan in 12-week chunks and get more done than you usually done in a year. So let me know what you think. Are you into annualized planning? Do you like a whole 12 12 months so you can see what's ahead or are you like me and can only focus in 12 week chunks i promise you this will help you prioritize what needs to get done help you focus and help you just like get rid of the distraction just now before we go i want to talk about the the smaller things right like when do where do i write where to put my laundry like there are some things that you need to jot down I'm not saying that you can't do this and this but this is a very focused project planner this is for people that got big big goals and just need help help breaking them down so what i like to do i use this but i also have like a separate notebook or i might use the notes app on my phone or reminders and that's where i kind of write down the stuff that needs to be done it's important but it's not urgent it's not going to propel me forward in my dream chase whatsoever so i'll write somewhere else pick up the groceries <laughs> drop off the laundry take baby two day get whatever the case may be this is a very special planner for your dreams and goals for everyday life. I'm actually working on an everyday essential planner that will come out this fall. Now that is for more of the mom life, academic planners. Like I got a whole lot of other planners coming out, but this one is really just the big goals action planner, 12 week planner. But I just wanted to talk about how do you put, where do you put all the other stuff? Remember with this, this is all about focusing on big action. action, no more procrastination. So when you get to a week, one week should actually pretty much equate to the work that you would do in a month. One day should be a week. So it's no more like, oh my goodness, should I, you know, <laughs> Post on Instagram. There's nothing wrong with that, right? But it's also like, it helps you prioritize like whether I should fill out a grant application for my business. Posting on Instagram is a huge part of business, but would you rather kind of focus on securing more funding for your business so you could put out more products, more courses, whatever the case may be. Both of those things are necessary, but this helps you think of the, the task that will propel. That's the word I keep using. Rocket ship your ass closer to your goal. So that's the things you put in here. I highly recommend you checking out the 12 week year. Um, if you have Spotify, they have the audio book for free with your premium subscription. So go ahead and listen to it. It's a really good book. I've been using it for like the past five years now and I I've done so much more than I used to doing annualized planning. If you want to check out the Big O's action plan and get it for yourself, go to sundayjumpstartpaper.com. The good news is that if you're not a physical girly, you're a digital girly planner. We also have the digital version. I'll put up a little slide of that. Uh, we have some accessories, some drinkware, so check it out. I am praying for you. I hope that this is the year, your 12 weeks, where you really knock some fish out of the park. All right, I love you guys. Talk in the next video. We launch it, we launch it, we launch it this Friday. Whew. Okay, I need some more content. <laughs> Bye. Dressed in the gown, everybody's like, why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store.